Welcome back everybody. Today, another piece of test equipment. And here it is, which I think looks to me like an oscilloscope, but unlike any one I've ever seen before. Um, I'm not an expert on oscilloscopes at all. I have one and I just use it for basic functions like uh, determining the uh, foil end of a capacitor. That's pretty much it at the moment. Um, this one, I... Well, there's no markings on it, no make or model, anything. Um, and um, I'm just, just by the look of it, I don't know, I'm guessing, I don't know, 50s. Um, but let's have a look and see what we've got. So, just coming a little bit more. So, start at the top, Y amplifier, okay. And, yeah, volts per centimetre, an AC-DC switch. Time base, oh yeah, 10 milliseconds, 1 millisecond, 100 milliseconds. What's this time multiplier? I'm taking it. And calibration, X shift, Y shift, astig, what's that, astigmatism? Um, I don't know. Uh, Grat.il, is there a place called Grat in Illinois? Um, don't know what that does. Intensity, that's obvious. Focus. X gain. Trigger level. Oh yeah. Auto. And then you can adjust it. And sync. External, positive and negative. Alright. Um, probe socket. <laughs> I have no probe for this. Uh, unfortunately. I um, wonder if that'll be a problem. Um, y input. Earth. TB out, what's that, time base, or tuberculosis, um, X input, and earth, and extension switch, okay, well, I think it's been gotten at, um, at least, uh, definitely the, um, I think the power cord's been changed, or they've just included this on-off switch on the uh, power line, on the power cord, don't know, don't know, but uh, I'll tell you what, well, let's get this opened up. And uh, I will say that um, I'm probably punching above my weight here on this one because I have no idea how these things work, to be honest. But I'm hoping we can get it going, or it is going, and we just um, update the uh, components in there. Hopefully. Let's find out. I'll get a screwdriver and we'll start getting this thing out. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Something's definitely been in there. There's only two screws holding it in out of a total of... Three, six, seven, ten. <laughs> okay, where's the other one? Um, oh, there it is. Okay. How difficult is this going to be to get out? Oh, yeah. And I think I've got it. a lot of stuff in there. What do we got? Electrolytic, 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 three of them. Uh, paper caps. Um, some sort of transformer. Um, lots and lots of resistors. Okay. But it all looks original? Yeah. I guess so. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the uh, top side. Man, this is hard. Shit everywhere. All right, so valves, good stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight valves. Whatever they are. Oh, a cap can. 250 microfarads. And they've got to be cap cans as well. So, hell of a lot of capacitors in there. CRT tube. Um, ooh. Let's have a look at that. Um, I'll just get the camera up there for you.
this is the, uh, the probe socket and let's get in there tight, tight fit okay apart from these trimmers that are there um, that would be okay so that's the Y input that's the earth so that Y input is joined directly to a four pin socket and it's just one pin and the earth is the uh, body of the socket itself so that's easy in fact I don't have to use that socket at all so positive and that's positive there there's my negative yep so I can use the Y input banana plug should do alright now mm, I'm going to wow sorry I'm going to I'm thinking about this uh, whether I should just run a power test on it see if we've got um, shorts I mean I don't even know if the, uh, the CRT is working um, and if, if that's shot well there's nothing much I can do about it I, I don't have sp spare parts for this and I've yet to see um, spare CRTs um, for sale but I haven't looked to be honest um, other than that I'm changing oh, another cap can up there too how yeah, about that they're everywhere um, yeah I think I think we'll power it up and again see if we've got any shorts see if we can get some life out of it and uh I think that's the best way to go on this one anyway I don't want to waste my time um, on changing caps etc which can get quite expensive if the uh, if the screen's gone pointless so um, I'll just set myself up and we'll come back and start so let's go to DC on our multimeter um, yeah, you can see that all right, um, Variax on. I'm just going to be monitoring my current limiter, and let's give it some power. We're getting DC power immediately, so I'm guessing that's um, rectification by diodes. So currently, I'm at 100 volts. Everything is looking good. No smoke. Let's bring up slowly. That's 180 volts. Current limit is not glowing, that's all good. Uh, I can see the um, little globe lighting up. So that's 218 volts. Current limiter. It's starting to glow a bit. Oh, I've gone too far with my current. Sorry. Uh, went up to 250 volts. So I'm at 237 volts of mains power. That'll do. 114 volts of DC. And... I can't see yet. Look, trying to look at the uh, scope. Oh yeah, we've got something. Oh wow. That's working. I don't know what it means, but um cool. That slows it right down. I don't know, is that dot supposed to go right across the screen or <laughs> who knows? But anyway, anyway. It works. All right. I'll tell you what. Um, turned it off. Um, this is worthwhile repairing. Um, look, I don't know if it's going to be accurate or not, but um, it's a project. Um, I'm going to cut the video off here, and I've got a request for you, actually. Uh, the wise heads out there, or oh, all of you, actually. Um, if you've ever seen anything like this before, is it an oscilloscope? Is it something else? Um, 
I could I would really appreciate some comments on this because um, I, I just don't know so um, I'll post this up and then um, if you guys have got any ideas um, please let me know and uh, then I'll come back pretty quickly after your comments are posted and um, we'll start playing with it all right so back to you and I'll see you soon